In this video, I'm going to deploy a Next.js app to AWS using our own custom domain name, working with the serverless framework's Next.js serverless component. Now, this video isn't going to take very long, only a couple of steps, so let's go ahead and get started. So to start things off, I'm inside a really basic Next.js project, and I want to go ahead and just go ahead and create a serverless.yml file. And then we'll go ahead and open this file up in our text editor. And this is really the only change that we're going to be making in our project. So to kind of get started, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and set our basic um, configuration just for deploying the component itself. So what that typically means is kind of giving it a name and then the component. So for the name of our app, I'm going to call this Next Amplified. And then I'm going to set the component as the Next.js serverless component at the version 18 or 1.118. Uh, and this could be kind of whatever version is most recent right now. I think there might be a 1.19 version out, but I'm not sure if it's kind of stable or not. So I'm going to go with this version. So if you're watching this um, in the future, there might be a newer, better version. Now to set our own domain name, we need to now set a inputs key. And this inputs key is going to have our domain. And then here we're going to go ahead and set whatever domain name that we'd like to use. And um, this should be a domain name that you already own somewhere on some DNS or some domain uh, provider somewhere. So the URL that I'm going to be using is nextjs on aws.com. And I have purchased this domain through uh, Google Domains, but this could be in Route 53 or it could be in GoDaddy or it could be in whatever hosting domain provider that you work with. So now that we've done that, I'm going to now go into the AWS Management Console and search for Route 53. And here, we're going to go ahead and click on Hosted Zones, and we're going to add our domain name as a hosted zone. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to paste in Next.js on AWS.com and go ahead and click Create Hosted Zone. And once this is created, it's going to give us the name servers that we're going to need to configure our DNS and our domain provider. So I'm going to go ahead and see these four name servers and start copying them over. So for me, that's in Google Domains. I'm on Next.js on AWS.com, and I'm going to click on DNS. And then I want to choose Custom Name Servers. I'm going to start moving these over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And once these are saved, everything is actually configured on our end when uh, it comes to AWS and how that is kind of uh, being set up with our domain provider with Route 53. What we now need to do is just deploy our app, and everything should now be working once the DNS has been propagated. So to deploy, we're going to go back to the command line, and we're just going to run npx serverless. And we're just going to wait a little bit, and we're going to wait for this to deploy, and we're going to come back and check this out once everything has been deployed. All right, so once our app has been deployed and we give it a few minutes for our DNS to propagate, we should be able to go to our URL and see that our app is live. So I hope you learned something that was kind of a short video, but um, you know it's really easy to work with the API that's given to us by the Next.js serverless component. And um, co hopefully I demonstrated that here. So thanks for watching, and I appreciate you checking this out. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you next time.